Hello guys and welcome to episode 60 of my Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires campaign playing as Sister of Twilight leading the Heralds of Ariel and the Wood Elves to world domination. Today we are in pretty much a fresh turn. Uh, we can move a pretty decent range here with the Sister of Twilight. Can I catch Jing Tian finally? finally? I can. If I order resolve, it's actually going to kill the Deepwood Scouts, but do I care? I could add some more Hawk Riders if that were the case. I think we're going to play it out. Keep it clean. That way we can move on to other settlements afterwards and take the cleaner order resolves. And here we are. Right, let's start the deployment. We will just go like so. Uh, move my archers back a little bit. Put the sisters up at the front. And, oh, actually, we can kind of semi-start in range. Not sure if it's a good idea. I really wish you could, like, pre do spells. Be good. Anyway, here we go. Got plenty of range on these. I'm going to do two to attack each of the grand cannons back here. Okay, I will do these in two groups again. So that we can kind of concentrate down from the sides there. I don't think I could do. I could maybe land with the sisters. I've never really thought about this. It might be a good idea. Because if I can make everyone commit to the sisters, then I can just put better shades on them. And they're still going to do damage the whole time, so. That works. Those Iron Hail Gunners are probably going to have to go. At close range, they're going to do quite a lot of damage. Doesn't really look like there's any good bit of Shades opportunities, to be honest. We'll just keep the damage coming in. And it will all be over soon, I'm sure. Nice right, to speed things up. And that's it. Jobs a good one. He was in March stance, so we don't have to chase them down at the end there. Great. So we will go for the abduct this captives. The and then the we're going to have to level her up. And we shall move on. Right, Theodai, zoom in towards our Orion's camp. Your 
Bindol should be able to deal with some of these encounters. Oh, this is Empire. Interesting. You called? And we're going to go sit in the sacred pools for this turn, or at least close to it. Orion. Let's go kill Kolak. Goodbye. Good job, Orion. Kolak's finally dead. Another buff for him. Heralds of the Tempest are dealt with. What's Kalador doing all the way up here? Alright, well, Oriaruth can take out Dolgan as well. So that's pretty much all of the Norsecan tribes taken care of, other than the one that's north of Cathay. Glade Lord, at your oh nice, he got himself a great stag. Cool. Can I offer assistance? We also have uh, three Forge of Daith again, so we'll just uh, level it that one up. Perfect. She won't even How can I assist you? What do you need? And right, with that done, uh, we will head over towards maybe Nungal. Seems like going down this way is going to take forever. Then again, I feel like we could do with some more armies down here, especially if Imric's going to move through here. Because I want to kind of stay on top of all of the elven armies so that when we turn on them, we just kill them all at once. We'll take that Solomon. Orleano is doing a good job. That's going to be the end of Tic Tac Toe soon. Got her last point to spend. Maybe just obscuring Canopy. Extra missile strength during ambush. Like if we do use ambushes more often, which we probably should be. That's good. This will be the end of the Jiangxi Red Bulls. Now we head north. Oh yeah, I've got to head to the Bridge of Heaven as well. Arden. Let's see, where does this go? The Uzkalak Canal. Takes us down there. Ah. Huh. Are the Knights of Kalador allied with anyone? No. Alright. Maybe we kill the Knights of Kalador then. Because they're in our way up here. I can teleport to there. And then run down like so. We've got this army there. We're coming up on Kalador here as well. That could be a very good idea. I'm going to take that. Me. These guys still like me a lot. 534 in the green. You? Wild. Making my way. Okay, Ara. And take on Seris. Good kill. Another army here as well. One looks a bit more leveled up. Jim. 
Let's see what's in it. Abyssa here. Hell flares, soul grinders, and chosen of uh, Slanesh. Cool. Might actually make sure I play that one manually because it would be good to see some of the Slash units. I don't think we've seen the Slash units in this campaign for a long time. Okay, time for Tavril to get on land next to Hai Chai and attack that. Or not. It's weird how it's inconsistent like that sometimes. It's kind of annoying. I just out of range to hit Lothar. Uh, Kazag being annoying. I acquiesce to your request. Finding pathways. I'm gonna march round to Ekrund. And Atarak. He can come up to Itza. It looks like Oxyotl didn't have anything spawned down here, so that's okay. I don't know if it's they didn't spawn there because it's like not a main settlement. Or it's like not a settlement. It's a wood elf settlement rather than a like main settlement like this, for example. I don't know, it's weird. Very, very strange if you ask me. Now we move on to the next turn. Northern provinces coming in with even more armies. I did kind of hope that there would be a little bit more of a challenge. Um, Cathay, that is. Most of the battles we've had with them have been pretty simple. It looks like Clan Moors has moved in. At least it's going to be relatively easy to keep track of where they are for the time being. Only 24 factions left though. And that's a Pyrrhic victory that we can take. We would lose our Eagles though. I'm actually going to retreat from that. We can probably catch out the army separately. Let's head to the village of the moon. This is the life. Take that. The world roots grow once more. The old eye. I think I'll have Othiodai maybe attack the Cold of Sigma, to be honest. Or we could just come through and hit Camry from the bottom. That's the other thing we could do. Rather than open up too many fronts at the same time. Just got to be conscious that I don't want to go back on myself too much. Otherwise it's kind of a waste of time. Not likely. That's a lot of Hellblast of Ollie guns. Proud son of Atheluron. Right, I'm just going to go go ahead and sit inside this element here. These are dark times. Orion. Ugh. So tempting just attack there. I might do it next turn. Right, let's see about attacking Pestilic. Alright, let's jump on in. We'll play this out manually. It'll take us to the underway. A reasonably good map for my Waywatchers to get damage in. Just got to get the shots onto the rattling guns and the warp block gisales and the artillery in good time. So the plan, I can make these have crazy missile resistance so they can go up in front and sponge for me while the rest of the units 
move up behind. So we go ahead and do this. And that should activate it on all of them. They can run forwards and absorb for me. I speed things up. Quickly now. Now. You can certainly drop Pit of Shades, although I do need to be careful of the rattling guns and the warp doctor's hours actually. And the warp lightning cannons apparently. Don't want to use the wild riders here. Your orders? Battle ready. We are tireless. Way watchers. Quickly. Right, it seems like they're doing a reasonably good job of soaking. Let's go and dive on the Warlock Master there. All of these might as well get into melee. Death globes there with the arrows. I would say that this is actually going pretty well, to be honest. I don't really use any magic yet, but we can rectify that. Once it goes down, I'm sure they're just all going to rout. But we'll want to chase them down. Because it's an underway battle, I'm pretty sure they will get away. But it depends really how much damage we did, whether or not the army will die or not. There we go. Take the replenishment, of course. And we'll go into Masterful Ambush. Maybe I'll be able to catch out an army or two. That would be good. That would just be one. We'll take Perenniality though. Get a bit of extra replenishment on the end of the turn. I think having the War Dancers run forwards in that battle with their missile resistance buff on was a really good idea. It worked out very, very well. All right, over to Durthu. Durthu's got settlements to take. I should have probably gone for Numas because the army was in there. Yeah, we should have done that. 
elements. Okay, at least we took his element. Over to Daith. Daith's moving around the top side. Ordiarus. Might as well come on the water here, go to Zlatlan. Thank you very much. Then on to your attack. Strike out. Time to go for the Bridge of Heaven. Arden can take the sea lane. I weave the living forest. Honor and Catra just chilling uh, here. I'm trying to think what I actually want to do. Like we can attack this. I probably want to play it out though. Alright, let's do that. We'll fight it out in the open. I can probably crush this initial army really quickly. And then we just have to focus down the reinforcements. I think what I'm actually going to do is have my Freakin just here. Trap him on the edge of the map somewhat. Uh, I kind of want them to come out a little bit because I don't want them to just like instantly retreat when they get low. Although they might. But otherwise we're going to have my main dude here. And we're just going to dive in with the eagles. Since they are surrounding us, I'm very tempted to drop a dweller below, but we'll just stick with the healing. Drop the Master of Malevolence. we go. We don't want them to be caught out on the side like that, otherwise they'll get surrounded and die. We've got to keep things consolidated. Doing okay here. I will need my leader soon. Let's focus down the demonettes, kill the forsaken, kill the devoted marauders. All, right, all of those are gone. Let's get over here. going to want to use the Wand of Jet. Alright, we're going to focus down the chariots with the eagles. Is 
They are nasty looking chariots though. You would not want to be run down by one of those. So some of my birds are getting very low. We're going to try and take on Freeman. That's not going to end well for them. Turn enemy Lord taken care of. Let's kill the health layers on that side. I want to get here so that I can use the stand your ground. These uh, chosen are going to take ages to kill. I don't have a crazy amount of armor piercing. Good. Kill the uh, the seekers of Slanesh. It looks like the Freeman are destroying all the chariots. That's good. Now I guess I have to focus on the chosen of Slanesh. It seems like the eagles the eagles have armor piercing. Actually, now I think about it. Oh no, they have bonus versus large. How, what's the armor piercing like on them though? Ah, 222, it's okay. If only I had enough for a dwellers below, this would be fantastic right now. Gonna try as many and kill as many of those seekers. Okay, they broke. I'm not sure if I can be bothered to chase them all. That was a Pyrrhic victory. If I can take the replenishment, we can go into the next battle and pretty much do the same thing where we just kind of get them all together, slowly whittle them down at that time. But next time I'll have more magic, so that's why it's good to do this again. If I don't have to play this again, that would be ideal. We did kill a lot of their high value units, so yeah, with any luck this will just be a simple order resolve now. Yep, lovely. We'll take the demon's gate. And victory over Slanesh means less seduced units budget. Okay. But they're going to get nice replenishment and then we're going to move on to the next settlement. And that's, I think, the primary armies of that Slanesh faction dealt with. So that's really, really good. You going back to Findol when I don't need to. I think Othiodai. It's the only one that can actually do anything now. You might as well head up towards Itza because I'm not convinced that uh, the Vermintide's going to pop up down there. Are they at war? No, they're not. 
Should be a good chance to attack him, Rick. If I had more in position, I probably would. Oh, we're just out of range there. Tragic. I refuse. <laughs> the funny thing about Ayarak's army is whilst it's only Treekin, no. it probably just tank, like face tank this army. I don't think it's really worth doing. I think we just chill. I'm going to, in fact, just march around this way towards the elves. Just so I don't get tempted to try. It would be close, I think. Maybe it would be a Pyrrhic victory. Yeah, unless I got all the resolve, I'm not going to play a battle where I just charge streak into them. Let's move on to the next turn. We're actually positive 4,240 on income, which is crazy. Make Ariel and Orion proud. We grant you one last order. Still asking for peace. Not gonna happen. Oh, Clan Wars is expanding quickly. Not throp. Of course, in the underway. That's good. Your threat must be ended. Puppets of misrule up against me. Throp. Honestly, is a really nice one to beat because plus ten percent. Alf is really big. Serene Nestra. Tempestuous Arahan. Well, we're not in range to take Kunlan, so we'll go for Jade Wind Mountain. And we'll have to jump in and play this one out. This is a Sisters of Twilight campaign, so me having to play out the Sisters of Twilight battles over and over again kind of makes sense. All right. Let's just line up and we can fire away. I'm actually going to come at this from an angle. Okay, let's start the battle. We can start firing away on all of the ranged units. The more damage I can deal to these ranged units, the better. Decent magic there, that's good. It takes so long for these Hawk Riders to like acquire a target. I say that, when they fly directly over things, they do kill them pretty fast. Nah, it's just a matter of dumping as many of these missiles on target as we can. And watch as the army just runs away.
There we go. Look at the damage these take. It's ridiculous. Goodbye. That worked out well. Another army destroyed and another settlement taken. I don't think this one's going to be any closer to Kunlun, so it's going to be a little while so we take that. At least a couple turns. Am I in range tick caster bar? No. Let's go into Masterful Ambush, head towards the Springs of Eternal Life. Meanwhile, Dathu can go and hit Numas. Take the order resolve. Or immune to sandstorm attrition now, which is very nice. Very useful for conquering them. These armies just chilling. I think I had this problem before, didn't I? Where they just kind of didn't do anything. I think they still count as a faction, so. Got to be a little bit careful. I do want to obviously kill them off at some point. These are dark times. Is this the turn that I attack? It's difficult to say. Is Imrix right there? Next time we pop out down here. Gonna kill that caravan. Give me your money. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. For now, though, is it a problem? Not really. And then the Ling. And take Clad Tommen back. And we're going to go for Karak Asgul. Asgal, sorry. Yeah, so Daith can just continue on his merry way. Oriarith and hit you attack. Vrykus taking the Bridge of Heaven. Kind of tempting to try and pick up this island. Not sure what it would give me, but Arn's recruiting, so we can't do anything with him. Atra. And Morlana. And backwards and forwards. Going for. I think we have to attack them here because there's no way I want to go back for the Volary. That would be so annoying. I'm going to stay in friendly territory again. Keep clicking on Findol. We got this also off your die. Hmm. Target practice. So many, many years ago, the Skaven of Clan Pestilens swarmed these pools. At the instigation of Clan Mulder, they have returned. A vast army of plague monks, backed by a swarm of chittering rats, threatens to descend and sully the sacred waters. But an unusual source of aid appears, a vampire pirate looking to test some new artillery. is willing to direct his guns at the Skaven, for a price of course. 
However, if you do not hire the pirate, he might instead choose to offer his arms to the Skaven. So if we give him money, we get Zufbar 42 pounders. And all armies for three turns. That's pretty cool. We like that a lot. So we'll definitely try that out in a battle. We've never seen that ability before. It's very cool. Over to Tevril. Yeah, every army has it. That's crazy. Right, we'll come down towards Zizhu. Or Zizhu. I don't know how I'm supposed to say that one. Over to Ayarak. Hey, Gekrund. Thank you very much. I'm pretty sure they've got that, like, sandstorm thing going on, incantation, or whatever it's called. So when I'm stood in their lands, it uh, causes attrition. So Martinel almost caught up again. Let's go through the unassigned skill points. of the glades there's so many she doesn't have anything she can spend it on oh the withering there we go say it shouldn't prompt me if there isn't anything I can put it towards can I offer assistance so with Iraq I probably want to take him off the forest dragon because otherwise in battle we just lose, right? Because we have 100% flyers. Order Daith is at 3 again. Let's get the Eagle Van Braces maxed out. So that'll be dragon and eagle done. Just twilight left. Otherwise dreaming's maxed out as well. Can of course reforge these for temporary bonuses, but the temporary bonuses on a lot of the stuff is kind of negligible. You're never really going to notice it in battle. The ones that you will notice are the ones that give like map wide buffs. Like well research rate, for example, is a good one. It goes from 20% to plus 75% research rate. If we hadn't have already researched everything, that would have been great. Right, let's move on to the next turn. And unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So we're just going to let this run through. And then in the next episode, we can start fresh at the start of a new turn. Good that Camry there is losing some units to these order resolves. That's very, very nice. We have 25 factions left now. Really, really not many to go, honestly. And it looks like the endgame crisis really wasn't that bad with the Vermintide. Just got to clean up Clan Moors. And that is it. And we get the campaign victory for that. But yeah, that's it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.